Cirque du Soleil is making a stop here in Phoenix with an amazing show, and it is called... Corteo. There it is. Aaron's joining me along with Johan here, who is part of the show. Uh, let's talk about this uh, performance because it is definitely something that everyone needs to see because it tells a story of a clown. It does. It takes place uh, back in the day. We don't really know when, but it's the main clown is experiencing or dreaming of his funeral. And throughout the show, every act represents a part of his life or people in his life that were important to him. So he gets to go back and say one more hello, goodbye to all the people that he's loved throughout his life before he rides off into the light. Yeah. Let's give a little history of, of course, the Cirque du Soleil. Yes. I got it right there. Um, <laughs> because it really started off as street performers there in Canada, Montreal, Canada, and then turned into this big production, and it's across the world, which is amazing. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it started with a small group of circus performers in Quebec and uh, just on the streets sharing the circus with people. And the lovely thing that they did with Cirque du Soleil is they took the more traditional circus and brought it into the modern world, made it really theatrical. We don't have any live animals. We do have humans in animal <laughs> costumes. <laughs> which you will see if you come see the show. But I really like it because it really gets to showcase the human element of the circus. Yeah. And it brings people from around the world. Mm -hmm. You from Iowa, yes. great part of the world there. The and of part. course, <laughs> Johan from Finland. Finland. There we go. I like it. So I want to talk to you. How is this, this coming here and, and doing the show? Because you are literally a trained clown. Well, a trained juggler, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a clown. <laughs> yeah, so, well, the way everything started for me was actually 22 years ago when I saw Cirque du Soleil on TV, I was like, I'm going to become a juggler because the juggler was so great. So I started practicing with tennis balls and then I worked myself up to getting here. So, so, so you're a professional juggler, which is really I'm awesome. a professional juggler, yes. I love this. All right. And so and with you, you're an aerialist. Yes, I'm say an right? aer aerialist. Yeah. aerialist. Mm -hmm. I love this. And so what will we see from you out there? So I'm in the first act of the show. It's the chandelier act. So it is really an iconic act in the show. It opens and we're there with the main clown and we're his past lovers. There's four women in the act. So we're his past lovers and we get to spend one more moment with him on stage. Yeah. Wow. And what's really nice is like the crowd is immersed in this show, which is so amazing. So I'll come back here to you, where of course your juggling plays a big part in this, uh, and you are gonna show me a few little things here too, before we show you do this. So, because yeah. you said juggling is definitely where we have to use both sides of our brain, right? Yes, uh, yeah, it's like hand-eye coordination, so you actually train more your left side of the brain when you do this, because you, you control like objects that are not connected to your body. So it takes like tons of tons of practice, like constant practice. Does, and you're yeah. saying even when you take a little break, you still have to continue. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. I have to train like all the time. Yes. OK, all right. I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. How, yeah. where are we gonna, how are we going to start? So first? we're going to start with, so if you take one ball, okay. so just uh, start uh, throwing it from like your right to left. Like exactly that? like that. Perfect. All right. Yeah. OK. Thank you. I'm done. Nice. That's okay. it. Is that no, it? No, 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 not no, yet, no. not yet. We're going to go with okay. two balls. All right. okay. So you're going to do exactly the same thing. But when the first ball is up in the air coming down, then you're going to do exactly the same throw with the second one, and it's going to also go like underneath and across. And then okay. you do one, two, one, two. OK, right? And one, two. Perfect. Almost. OK, yep. Oh, that yeah. one, that was a bad one. OK, yeah. just need some practice, right. and then it's going to be very good. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good, good. That's a good start. Good start. Yes. Right? And now try okay. to do one more time, like one, two. You throw the first, and then it's you have a one, small break. Two. Two. Yeah. Like that? That was the best one so far. So can so, I just do this? Isn't this actually, just like, uh, for isn't the beginning, too? it's uh, that's like the wrong thing you should don't do. Don't ever it, do that. It is a different trick, but you don't want to start with that because it's going to slow down with other stuff, okay. which you should learn before. Like yeah, One, two, yeah. One, yeah, both hands throw. One, two. Oh, I'm not, getting it. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, say, not, not at the same time. No, not at the same time. One, two, one, two. Exactly, perfect. Okay. Much better. One, much better. two, one, yeah, two. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave it to a professional to do this. Uh, the show is uh, tonight through the rest of the weekend. You got to check it out to see. Down at the Footprint Center. Amazing show. Cirque du Soleil. Du Soleil. <laughs> there it is. All right. Check it out. I'm going to step out of the way and let you two perform.